everybody and welcome back to my channel today is the 3rd of september it's tuesday and i'm going to be filming what i eat in a day if you're new to the channel uh, my name is Gemma, and i'm losing weight following the slimming world plan so i've got to be really quick this morning because i'm just about to walk in to work but i am gonna just put um, a kind of recap of my journey um for anyone that's new to the channel because i know um some people have been asking how much i've lost and and things like that so I will do a little bit of a recap. I'll put um, a before photo of when I first started in May last year. And I'll put a photo um, of like a recent holiday or when I went out on Saturday night just to show you um, the difference um, and just explain a little bit about my journey. But I'm going to make it really quick because I know some people have been with me um, since I first came on YouTube. So I don't want to bore anybody. Um, so I will catch up with you all in a bit. I'm popping into work now. I've not had anything to eat yet. Like I said, I'm trying to eat between 12 and 6, but stick to Slimming World. Um, so I will show you what I have. So I'm just waiting to pick our Kaylee up. I've got a few minutes, so I thought I'd just film kind of a recap um and my journey so what i'll do is um i'll pop a photo on um after this just to show you what i was like before so this was in may so i went to bella medina and i was at my heaviest of 14 stone and five pounds and i was in a size 16 to 18 probably stretching the 16 more comfortable in an 18 some of my tops were even 20s um, just because of the size of my boobs, um, I needed something kind of big and baggy. So we went to Bella Medina and it's the most uncomfortable I've ever felt. Um, all the photos that were being taken, I were deleting and I, I just had a rubbish holiday because I felt disgusting. Um, so here's a couple of photos. So I started Slimming World from home, um, I didn't go into any groups, I didn't do it online or anything and I got myself down to 13, uh, 12 stone 10, um, put a little bit of weight back on over Christmas, uh, moving up to 13 stone but then I was kind of stuck at that weight, I'd got myself down to a 14, size 14 and I felt comfortable in myself. Um, and I think that's what kind of made it difficult because I felt comfortable in a size 14. So I've not been a size 14 since before having Alex and he's 12 now. Um, so, yeah, so kind of stuck at that weight, but I know that it was still overweight. So I started Slimming World Group and... Um, I got back down to 13, uh, got down, back down to 12, 10, felt really comfortable. And then um, I went on holiday, put a bit of weight on, I lost that. So I was just up and down like a roller coaster. And then uh, if you've watched my previous videos, I've got something wrong with your nerve that controls my heart. So I'd gone down to 12 stone 10, feeling really good about myself. Absolutely, I'm in gym, I'm going gym, double classes most most days so um monday to friday and then i'd gone out for drinks with my friends in couples and i were only out for a couple of hours when i collapsed and, and my heart stopped so i ended up in coronary care um and then it were a long recovery hour off work for a couple of months and they were talking about fitting a pacemaker and stuff so um losing weight weren't my priority at that time it were staying hydrated, getting kind of things that I needed in my body, fibre, calcium, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, so then I've, I've, I didn't stop going Slimming World, um, just had a little bit of break, and then I've gone back, lost a bit more, went back on holiday, put some on. So that's where we are. So I've been up and down like a roller coaster, but it's, it's my time it's my time now and I want to really concentrate and get my weight down so although I feel okay 
um, I didn't feel comfortable on holiday in shorts and stuff and having my arms out. I don't feel comfortable having my arms out. So I really need to knuckle down and get to target. So I've set my target at 12 stone. Um, my health target, I believe, is 11 stone. But I just think I'll be... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I get down to 12 stone, um, I'll reassess it. But I don't know if the 11 stone will be too thin for me because I've got quite big boobs, so they're quite heavy as well. Um, but we'll see. So, yeah, so wish me luck. I'm going to get weighed on Saturday. I'm going to try my best this week. Um, and, yeah, hopefully I'll lose some weight. So I've tried this intimate, in, intimate, not intimate, int intermittent fasting the reason being is it's supposed to be good for like anxiety and stuff and your relationship with food and i am really like kind of not strict with my food but if i don't eat at certain times like breakfast dinner and tea at set times um i get moody and stuff and um and i'm a, an emotional eater so if i'm down if i'm tired um if i'm out of routine um i do turn to food and i'm finding that by doing this in why do i keep saying intimate intermittent fasting i'm not reliant on food as much because i've only got that six hour eating window so just kind of eat to fill up so which it should be shouldn't it it should be just to get your nutrients that you need and to fill up rather than just binging all the time which is what i do um so it is helping so i'm going to keep that up for a bit and see how i get on so I'm going to go and pick Kaylee up now and I will show you what I have when I get home. So I'm just back in, I'm just prepping tea. I'm wanting it quite early tonight. Um, before I go to the gym, so hopefully I'm going, and then, um, and Kayla's at swimming, so I'm just going to have, so I've had the six and a half at work, I've just had about four slices of ham, which was sin free, and I'm going to have this for three sins, so nine and a half sins so far. So excuse this day, I'm just um, in the middle of cooking, everything's a mess, I've still not done dishwasher so I'm going to do that in a sec, but I just thought I'd just show you how I do with my shepherd's pie, so I've just fried off some mince, um, onions and mushrooms and then I've added some stock which I used a stock cube, not so stock cube and a stock pot, a beef stock pot and then I've just mashed four big potatoes which I just boiled in water and then I mashed them with a bit of milk for me healthy extra A and um, butter fry like and that's all and then I've just mashed it up and then I just use a spoon just to scrape it on top and just to drop it in the middle and then I'll just use a fork to score it before I put it in the oven just to crisp up um, just another thing that I added to mince, just remembered, is Worcester sauce. So I added quite a bit of that and a little bit of paprika, but not much. Um, so you can add cheese to the top if you like, but we like ours just plain. And then we're going to have it with vegetables. So I've got veg, I've just put in the steamer. Um, that'll take about 25 minutes. And I'll put probably put this in for about 15 minutes because obviously it's all cooked. It's just to just get a bit of colour on top of that mashed potato. Um, and it's all sim free. So the lads are going to have it with Yorkshire puddings. I'm going to decide, because I'm going to eat mine when I get back from gym, I'm going to decide whether I want some, mash, uh, some Yorkshire pudding or whether I'm just going to have it as it is. So I will show it you when it's ready to go in the oven. So that's it all prepped, so this is going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All done, so I'm just going to dish this up. And this is tea, so everything's sim free except for Yorkshire puddings. We've just banged some frozen ones in today because I'm in a rush, so I'm going to gym. And they're two and a half sins each, so it's five sins in total for this.
So I'm just back in from gym and I didn't have time to have um, the dinner before I set off so I'm going to have it now. It's about quarter past six. I'm a little bit out of, like I wanted to cut off at six from eating um, but a little bit late today but when, when I'm going to gym at five while six it's a bit difficult to eat before that especially when you're cooking from fresh, it's a nightmare. Um, so I left the kitchen an absolute bomb site. So I've got all this to tidy up after. So I'm starving now. So I'm gonna eat this, get shower, get cleaned up, um, and then chill out, watch, um, what am I watching? Oh, Peaky Blinders that I've got taped, and Great British Bake Off, yeah. Um, and that's it. So I've had the six and a half sins at work for the crispy roll, three sins for a high five bar, that's nine and a half sins, and then I've got five sins um, for the Yorkshire puddings on tea, so I'm finishing on 14 and a half sins. I've had a good day on plan, really enjoyed taking cereals to work, so um, I'll definitely do that again. I think I've got shep uh, some shepherd's pie left for tomorrow, so I've got that with veg, which is totally sin free, so it's fantastic. And then, um, I'm not sure what we're having for tea, so I'll have a think about that later on. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you can join me tomorrow. Bye!